There are no units close behind, so they are in tracking mode now. They are following from above with the LAPD helicopter. And this uh, individual now making a right-hand turn, continuing on surface streets in Burbank. Uh, again, going at a high rate of speed on these uh, small, narrow streets now. It's going in like an, an alley alleyway. here. Yeah, it looks like it. Look at the speed. Unbelievable. And look, he's accelerating. Man, anybody that's in, in, in the way of that truck is in real, real trouble right now. Yes. Uh, hopefully he doesn't hit anything. Uh, but yes, the, the police, we're told, now have backed off somewhat and uh, are, are in kind of that following, that tracking mode, which will certainly... Uh, oh, oh, he just collision. collided. He just collided. There are two people in the truck, both of them taking off. One female uh, heading toward the bottom of the screen, the other a male in a white t-shirt heading there at the top of the screen. You see them there. Uh, and now he's in someone's backyard. Got to get a better location here. You've got the helicopter overhead. If you are in this area, if you recognize it, if it looks familiar, close your windows, lock them, lock your doors, because this is a dangerous individual looking for a way to escape from police and perhaps escape into your home. So we are looking at this now. We're going to try to get the exact location here. Uh, you see now pursuing officers. Those are the flashlights you see going down that alley. They're being directed by the helicopter above uh, as to where this suspect took off. The advantage here for the helicopter is it's got what they call FLIR, forward-looking infrared, which can detect the body heat of a suspect. So if he's trying to hide, if, he, if they lose him visually beneath the trees, they can pick up his body oh. heat, and there he goes. There he, he's there he is. Looks like he's surrendering. He's surrendering. He's hands up. The question, oh, looks like there was a little bit of a scuffle there. Okay, they've been able to take down, uh, we believe that was the driver. That's the driver. Correct? He's, uh, uh, he's still resisting somewhat. They've, they're trying. Yeah, the woman we did notice. The woman ran uh, to the towards the bottom of the screen. We don't know where she is at the moment. She was wearing a, a red top and I believe blue pants. And the suspect here that you see wearing that white T-shirt, and you can see the tattoos from from 1,100 feet in the air. He's got a lot of tattoos on him. Uh, not that that necessarily means anything. I don't want to uh, indict him based on that, but uh, certainly the behavior would be an indication. But he uh, uh, has now being taken into custody by police, but they are still looking for the passenger, the female, who also took off running. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, J.T. Altpaw is on the phone with us right now. He's uh, been watching this chase with us. Uh, J.T., what struck me is how quickly the officers were able to come up on the suspect on the ground, even though they had gone into that tracking mode and were seemingly uh, at quite a distance away, but uh, maybe not so much. Well, what you're seeing, Michelle, here is LAPD Air Support Division keeping very close eyes on that suspect. When they went down that alley and they bailed out, you had units deployed around that foot pursuit, around that area where officers in the helicopter directed the officers on the ground directly to where they were. They used that using the radios and using the night sound that you see in your scene right now. And what they're doing right now more than likely is setting up a containment or a perimeter around for that outstanding suspect here in the 8100 block of DeGarmo. That's right near Cantera Street in uh, we'll get the city for you in a second here. Very fast pursuits, though, as you can see in that alleyway as we're showing you the video we shot earlier. But it uh, looks like they did have a suspect that ran from the driver's side of the car, that male Hispanic wearing a white T-shirt and blue jean, long blue jean shorts, as identified by the police helicopter. And they got those uh, units very, very quickly on him, and that's part of the, uh, the advantage of tracking. They can back off, let that suspect have a little bit of leeway, and then when he gets out and runs, and they hear you put those ground officers on him immediately. There's the female right there that taken her into custody. Two people in custody. Nobody, as far as we know, has been hurt. The pursuit ending in Burbank.